Hello, my name is Joseph Rasinger, and this is my presentation on the fiber crop cotton. So some of the history of cotton has it starting in South Asia with some varieties of cotton, including tree cotton shown on the left and Levant cotton shown on the right. When Columbus sailed across the ocean in 1492, he found cotton growing in the Bahama Islands. It would later be found that cotton was also growing in Central and South America. The cotton gin model from the 19th century made by Eli Whitney shown in the picture on the right. This invention allowed for, allowed for the easy separation of seed from cotton bulb. This increased the production in cotton but also increased the number of Africans who became slaves in the cotton industry. The importance of cotton in the early US in the early US economy was due to Great Britain's growing textile industry demand for cotton. So the US southern US states supplied it and made it the backbone of the US economy in the 19th century. Cotton is grown in more than 100 different countries around the world, making deciding a Pacific growing region hard to say because there's so many countries that grow it around the world, from Africa to Asia to the Americas. Some of the growing conditions for cotton include long vegetation periods, constant warm temperatures, ample sunlight and dry conditions, and deep, well-drained soil with natural with nutrients, which is why we see a lot around nearing the equator because the warmer temperatures and longer daylight. Production techniques with planting cotton. Some there's two main ways I found with planting cotton, which includes skip row, which is the top picture which leaves every third row unplanted to allow for improved soil moisture in semi-arid regions. And then there's also the bottom picture, which is ultra-narrow row cotton, which allows for more sunlight and better utilization of rainfall, while also reduce time between plant planting and harvesting. But the downside is pests and early weed management is harder, as well as the producer has to use a cotton stripper for harvesting because there's no individual rows when it's all bunched together. Cotton seeds are acid delented seeds. This removes the short fuzzy fibers from the cotton seed. This also improves germination and uniformity for growth. Seeds are also fungicide coated to prevent early plant disease. Irrigation has four main practices including the use of sprinklers, furrows, pivot systems, and drip irrigation. Okay. Some pests that cotton deal with include cutworms, flea hoppers, bull wheels, bull worms, aphids, stink buds, beet army worm, and spider mites. The bull, bull weevil will plant its eggs in the bowl of cotton, making it very difficult to kill after they are planted. The best way to combat this is to use insecticides early on. Some diseases cotton endures include bacterial blight, cotton root rot, bronze wilt, and nematodes. Weeds can also steal nutrients vital to plant growth. Some easy, easy way to avoid Pests, infections, and weeds include crop rotation, planting weed-free seeds, planting disease-free seeds, spraying pesticides, and fungicides. Produc production techniques for harvesting. The picture on the left is a cotton stripper. Cotton strippers first came about in the 1870s and gained popularity in the 1920s in West Texas cotton fields. It is used in areas of shorter growing seasons, low input production, 
and it removes the entire cotton bowl from the plant. The picture on the right is a cotton picker. The cotton picker first came about in the 1920s. It is used in long growing seasons with long staple cotton and removes only seed cotton. This does cause a higher production cost. Major uses for cotton varies a lot because cotton's super versatile. Some major uses for cotton include clothing with blue jeans, dress shirts, and more made from cotton fibers. Diapers, there's even cloth diapers nowadays where it is made from cotton as they are reusable compared to the 30 million, I mean 30 billion disposable wool diapers used each year. Bath and cosmetic products are made from cotton seed oil. Livestock feed and fertilizer are made from cotton seeds that are crushed at a cotton mill. The seed is divided into three parts, oil, meal, and hull. The seed's meal is used in feed for livestock, and the meal and hull can be used in fertilizer. Cotton seeds are covered with a fuzzy layer called linters that are made of cellulose. This cellulose is able to be used to make synthetic materials such as plastic or computer chips. Paper and cardboard can be made from the sticks and leaves separated from cotton fibers during processing. The market for cotton is so wide there's over 150 different countries involved in the export and import of cotton. The U.S. has been the lead exporter since 1834. Cotton, is a t cotton was a $12 billion industry during the 2005-2006 market cycle, with exports climbing to 9.8 million tons shipped around the world. Cotton is economically important in Africa, as 37 out of the, of the 53 African nations produce cotton. In summary, cotton is very important in both the Texas economy as well as the world economy. Cotton is used in different things from the clothing we wear to cosmetic products we use on ourselves all the way to the to making plastic bags. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.